for their heads. Okay, I guess that works. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Jeff with Just 5 More Minutes Gaming. This is episode 4 and we are going to be going to Greasy Grove on the battle bus. So we're going to be jumping out of the battle bus right here and we are rocking the abstract skin. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys favorite skin is. I love this skin. This is probably one of my favorite skins in the game and I always rock it with the spray paint trails just because it just matches the theme. I'm just kind of, you know, like to be matchy matchy like that. Let me know what tr favorite trails you guys like as well. We are going to be going over to Greasy Grove and we see a couple people coming in here. There's a guy over Durburger and there's someone else that's going probably towards that house that's right in front of the shops. We are going to be going over to Dog House and I know looting is not the most exciting part of the game so I'm going to speed this up for you guys. Hear the music. Alright guys, so we looted. It looks like we have a guy here. We're gonna lay a couple shots down and get a couple good shots on him. He's gonna put down some walls and she is gonna be eliminated. We are gonna uh, reload our guns here because gunfights always attract people. We get that purple scar that is an excellent find at the beginning of this game. So we are currently rocking a purple scar. We're gonna pick up that hunting rifle as well. Um, that is definitely something that I like to do. I like to have a mid-range, sh uh, short-range and a long range weapon at all times and my last slot my fourth slot will always be like a heels or a shield or something like that guys use the traps when you first find them in houses like in the beginning of the game when people are looting and they see a closed door they don't look for traps in the beginning of the game so if you can drop a trap in front of a door in the beginning of the game you could get a free kill and you you know you would have never got it if you never dropped that trap so we are going to get that shield here. We are full health and just, you know, finishing up the looting here. See, we looted three houses, destroyed some, some furniture, and we're already at like 400 materials, guys. It's 400 materials with three houses. That's pretty good. So we see a guy here. We're going to pull out our scar, lay a couple good shots on him. He didn't really react too fast. We thought we were behind him for some reason, and we get the kill. We're going to pick up that pump shotgun. Pumps, this was before the double shotgun nerf. Uh, this game is a little bit old, but I figured I'd bust it out for you guys because I think it's a pretty good game. Um, so, we're going to bu bust out that double shotgun action, the the pump, and the tack. The double pump was already nerfed by this point, so unfortunately we didn't rock the, the, the double pump. Um, but we are going to be running over to the shops. We do hear footsteps, so we're going to lay down a couple walls and a ramp to peek over. We see a guy here. We try to get a shot, but we don't land that hit, so we're going to drop a couple walls to make sure that he can't come back around the ramp. It looks like he has a shotgun as well. Takes one shot, two shots, three shots, four, five, and six shots with a tactical shotgun from that range. And we just take a couple hit points of damage. We are looking pretty good, guys. We have uh, three kills. There's 30 people left. We are moving on to the mid game. We are going to fast forward a real quick bit. So Tilted Towers, we just basically ran from Greasy to Tilted. We found... Uh, a heavy shotgun, that's about it. We are going to uh, be going through Tilted. We see two guys here. They are going to start fighting each other. So we are going to get that elimination We're, with the Scar, clean up that first kill, and then rush the second guy because we know that this guy is low. We get that fifth elimination from the top, and that was a beautiful, beautiful double kill for us. If you guys are ever, ever, ever in a gunfight and it's the middle of the game and you're in a crowded area or, or an area where people are going to be rotating into, finish your fights as quick as you can because those gunshots will attract other people. Aim for their heads. 
Okay, I guess that worked. So we didn't get the headshot, but we did get the elimination. So like, <laughs> I I gotta say, I was pretty lucky. I jumped the, the gun just a tad bit on that one. I got a little trigger happy. I thought he was gonna jump down, so I just got the shot off. Um, if you guys can line up shots really fast, just try and get the shot off. We're gonna look for the second guy here because we know that he was shooting at someone, and we see her right there. So we get another shot off, and it's not a headshot, it's a body shot, but we still get that elimination. So, like I said, guys, it's important for, for you guys to, you know, just take the shot. You, you'll you take out their shields, you take out a bunch of their health, and they'll be weak, and you can rush, and you can push forward. So we're gonna move on, we have seven kills, there's seven people left. We fast forward just a little bit because, you know, we just kind of waited for the circle to see where it's gonna be. We're heading over towards the motel area, and we see a guy over by this tree over here. <clears throat> So we are going to try and get a shot on him. We line up, looks good. We fire it, and he ducks at the last minute. He ducks at the last minute. I hate when that happens. So he knows where we are now. He fires a shot, he misses. He This kind of tells us that he's not, you know, the, the best player out here. Especially because he's rushing us when we have high ground, we're building, we didn't build at all. So we're gonna try and get a couple shotgun shots we miss, and it's important if you miss your shotgun shots, Build, build, build. You don't want to take any unnecessary damage. So we're building here. We're trying to make sure that he does not have an angle on us. But we can peek him. We kind of lose him for a second. But we find him again. He is just, you know, just laying down some fire here. We're going to build up again. And hopefully get that elimination. We're going to peek out with our scar. We get a couple good shots. But he lands a nice shot on us. If we peek with the pump, we get the elimination. If you guys missed those pumps, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you guys missed those old school pump shotguns that could one tap people if you got that headshot. Um, I make a kind of a bonehead move here. I'm not paying attention to the storm and I drop my shields in my one by one thinking I'm going to be able to go back and get them. Um, unfortunately, the storm moved a little bit quicker than I thought and so I couldn't go back and get them. And I didn't want to risk jumping in there because this is pretty late into the game. So the storm is probably packing 5 to 10 damage a tick. And we don't want to risk that. So we're going to have to move forward here. We're going to build up right now and try and pop that med kit. But then I remember that there were shields. I'm going to pick up those shields that we dropped back there. Those, those two shields that that guy dropped. So we're going back. We're going to pick up... We're gonna pick up that shield. We're getting shot at from that guy in the tower. Um, we did take quite a bit of damage, but luckily we have this med kit, so we're gonna heal up here. We're gonna get up to 100 health, and just we're gonna we're gonna use our third person peeking angle just, just to see where everyone's at, just to see if anyone's rushing us. It doesn't look like that's the case, but this guy is being pretty aggressive. He is right now RPGing at um, the other player that's over to our right. So we're gonna peek here. This is before they eliminated the edit peeking. Um, this guy is also going to be shooting at us. Uh, he's probably just checking to see if he's in here. Unfortunately, uh, he misses horribly, so we are going to just chill. As the storm is closing in, so we're going to have to make our move. We are going to run over to the motel and hope that this guy doesn't shoot at us. He doesn't. We get a little bit lucky here. So, we are going to build up. You always want to try and get high ground in this game. High ground is so important. Um, with this new meta, it may be low ground now with the, the you know, the, the nerf to building, but we shall see. They just recently buffed building again, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, but we are going to be getting up on this motel here, and we take a couple shots, but we, you know, brush that off. It's all good. We got, we got materials. We got, um, you know, about 1,200 materials right now. Uh, this guy has, it seems like an infinite amount of rockets, though. So we are just going to have to keep on building and making sure that this guy does not land any rockets on us. And he's getting, being pretty persistent and being pretty aggressive right now. Um, he knocks us down, so we're going to have to build up once again. Uh, we do so, and it looks like there's still four people left. There's still a guy, um, <clears throat> probably in those houses, that broken house right there. We lay a couple shots on his one by one just to make sure and keep him in check to make sure that he knows that we're not going to be super passive and that if he does peek, we will take some shots at him. So. Someone was just eliminated, um, there's now three people left, they're probably in that broken house and that we know that the other guy is right there in that tower. We're going to sit here and sit tight. Towards the end of the game, you want to make sure that you're playing a little bit more passive than aggressive 
Um, especially if you're going for that dub, which we are. We have eight kills, and we definitely don't want to scrub this game up. So we are playing pretty passive right now. We have a pretty good position with the circle. Um, we are not in the circle, but we definitely look like we're probably the closest to the circle. Um, so we are going to be uh, just chilling here right now. This guy is still being a little pest with his RPGs, but that's okay because he, he can't really get an angle on us. We're trying to find that third guy though. You see the guy with the RPGs jumps down. We get one shot on him, which isn't great, but it's still something. So hopefully that'll make him use a mini or if he doesn't have any minis um, or shields, that'll be um, you know, a little, some damage that he'll take. We're going to knock down his little one by one here and make him uh, build up once again. The circle is coming in. There's 25 seconds. We're going to have to make a move soon. So we are going to just be applying the pressure here just to make sure that this guy does not peek us while we're trying to make a move. The circle is going to force us to move. Unfortunately, we aren't able to get in to, to connect our ramp before it gets uh, shot down. So we are going to have to build up here. Uh, we do get the high ground or at least the even ground with this guy right now. Um, he is going to play a little bit aggressive, so we are going to try and get some shots on him. He does land a shot with the shotgun. So we are going to pop a wall and make sure that he does not have an angle on us. We're going to turtle up just a tad so we can get that, those those shields in. And these shields are going to come in clutch towards the end of the game if you guys will just stay with me. So here we are. These two guys are fighting right now. It looks like one other guy was, the, was eliminated, so we're down to 1v1. We see him right there. Um, unfortunately, he didn't stay out in the open, so we're looking for him right now. We're reloading all our guns, making sure that we are in the best possible position to win this game. And we are going to be pushing forward and trying to get the high ground over him. We hop into his previously made one by one. We try to shoot this tree down. I had a feeling he was under this tree, but for whatever reason, I couldn't shoot this tree down. Like, I. I put a whole bunch of shots into it, and it just never took any damage. <laughs> You're going to see it right here again. Um, in about two seconds, I'm going to go back to this tree. And no damage to this tree whatsoever. I, I don't know if it was a glitch or if I just wasn't hitting the tree. But I could have sworn I was hitting the tree. <laughs> so this guy is right under us. We can hear him. He's right under us. He's picking up, um, he's picking up those weapons. There's a gold scar and a gold RPG down there. Uh, but we don't want to just jump down because we do have high ground. So we are going to try and see where he's at. Um, we do hear him. So we're going to shoot down this wall right here to see if he's under the staircase. He's not. So we're going to move over. He shoots a rocket from right there. So he thinks we're above him. We see him. We're going to pull out our shotgun. We get a shot. Unfortunately, it's only 80 damage. We jump down. He shoots an RPG at us. And we l we live with seven seven health. If we didn't not take those two minis before we push this guy, we would have died and we would have lost and came in second place. So if you guys have minis, take your minis. If you guys um, did like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe down below. Um, I really appreciate you guys' help. Check out my other videos, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. I remember.